China in February 2017 became the second country after the United States to bring an indigenous fifth-generation fighter into service, namely the J-20, with the aircraft having rapidly evolved over the past eight years as its stealth features and overall airframe design have been refined, new engines have been integrated, and avionics have been updated. The J-20 program has represented a major landmark for China's combat aviation sector, and for the first time in the jet era positioned a fighter from a country other than Russia or the United States as a leading contender for the title of the world's most capable in air-to-air -air combat. Although the J-20 was present at China's previous military parade in October 2019, not only were three distinct variants were involved in the latest parade, but an entirely new class of fifth-generation fighter, the J-35, also made its debut. The People's Liberation Army Air Force is currently procuring four types of fighter aircraft in parallel, namely the J-20 and the new J-35 fifth-generation fighters, as well as the J-16 heavyweight and J-10C lightweight fourth-generation fighters. It was previously uncertain if the J-35, a medium-weight fighter intended to complement the larger and longer-range J-20, would be procured by the Air Force, or whether it had been developed exclusively into an aircraft carrier-based variant for the Navy, and an export variant. In early July it was confirmed that the J-35 has indeed been procured by the Air Force, providing the service with a high-low combination of stealth fighters, and making it the first in the world to procure two different stealth fighter types in parallel. Less than two weeks after the J-35 was confirmed to have joined the Air Force, the first footage surfaced in mid-July confirming that an aircraft carrier-based variant had joined the Navy. The latest parade on September 3rd saw China unveil the unrivaled diversity of its stealth fighter fleet, with the first stealth fighter seen being a baseline J-20 powered by indigenous WS-10C engines. The aircraft was seen refueling from a YY-20 tanker, a new asset in the inventory which is expected to significantly further extend the fighter class already near unrivaled range. This was followed by a J-20S twin-seat fighter, which is the only twin-seat stealth fighter class in service anywhere in the world. The fighter variant was first unveiled in October 2021, and was more recently confirmed in July 2025 to have entered service. The twin-seater was followed by modernized new variant of the J-20, referred to variously as the J-20A or J-20B, which can be distinguished by its much flatter cockpit canopy and distinctive low-profile appearance blending into its raised spine and a nose radome. This new stealthier variant is expected to integrate WS-15 next-generation engines. Beyond capability, capacity is the story, the Mitchell Institute estimates the PLA Air Force fields 2,225 fighters, including 325th gen, with J-20 output reportedly rising to 120 per year nearly triple US Air Force 5th gen acquisitions. Assuming typical mission-capable rates, China could have 799 fighters ready at any time. With the U.S. still fielding CCAs and uneven procurement, a high attrition fight favors China's industrial base. Unless production and readiness accelerate, Washington's Department of War risks falling behind. The J-20 has transformed China's Air Force, China's industrial production capacity outstrips that of the United States. That strategic imbalance could have disastrous consequences in a potential future conflict marked by combat-related aircraft attrition. China's J-20S has been in the headlines following its participation in a recent Chinese military parade marking the 80-year anniversary of the end of World War II. The fifth-generation stealth fighter differs from its predecessor, the J-20, in that its airframe is elongated, a design consideration that creates space in the aircraft for a second person. China's two-seat J-20S debuted prominently, highlighting a shift toward manned-on-man teaming in airborne command roles. Beijing touts the backseater as a mission commander, potentially controlling loyal wingman drones. The J-20S is notionally the world's first two-seat fifth-generation fighter jet, and the elongated variant is anticipated to bring a boost in capabilities compared to its single-seat predecessor. Speaking to the state-owned Global Times, a Chinese military expert explained the significance of the aircraft's second seat. Having one more pilot means having one more mission commander. In the era of the fifth-generation fighter jet, the addition of a pilot to the J-20S is like a number 10 player in soccer, who could both score points on his own and command the members of the warplane formation in combat. While second seats in aircraft have typically been reserved for weapon system officers who target and engage other aerial elements, ground targets, data links, or the aircraft's weapon systems, the distinction between pilot and weapon system officers has become blurred. 
both individuals broadly are able to fulfill each other's tasks and roles if needed. In the past, the function of the back seat of a two-seat fighter jet was used to train new pilots or for the second pilot to operate airborne weapons, allowing the front seat pilot to focus on flight missions. However, the addition of a second pilot to the J-20S may not have been for these tasks, another military affairs commentator told the Global Times. The two-engine J-20 stealth fighter, even in its initial base variant, is larger than the either fifth-generation U.S. aircraft, the F-22 Raptor and F-35 Lightning II. The heavy fighter's large size gives it a great deal of internal volume for fuel and weapons. Combined with its anticipated high maneuverability and long-range, standoff air-to-air munitions, the aircraft is anticipated to be a formidable fighter jet, even if it is not as sophisticated as its American counterparts. In the future, the second seat in the J-20S and other aircraft may find an application linked to today's budding crop of loyal wingman unmanned drones. China is rapidly gaining experience in this area not in combat, but experience nonetheless. While the United States has made progress developing unarmed drones capable of reconnaissance and surveillance and aerial refueling, and it has substantial experience with armed drones such as the Reaper and Predator that operated during the War on Terror, an armed, unmanned drone has yet to make its service debut with the U.S. Air Force, Navy, or Marine Corps. It is an area of warfare in which the United States appears to be lagging behind its Chinese peers. The J-20S is the world's first two-seat fifth-generation fighter jet. If it does have the ability to command loyal wingmen, I believe it can even be regarded as the world's first 5.5-generation fighter jet, putting China in a leading position in the field of manned-unmanned cooperative operations in the air.